Here we are with Call of the Night episode 5. And yeah, last episode we saw more of Akira, ba her daily life, like going to school, going home, no one is there really, taking a shower, going to bed, because there's nothing else she really enjoys doing, um, having a hard time falling asleep, waking up early and doing an early morning walk before school, the uh, school which was at midnight at that time. And then she ended up meeting Ko again, going to Nazana's place, talking, playing games, and then when she wanted to go to school, it started raining, so she just went to bed with them, and she fell asleep, had a good night of sleep for the first time in a very long time, I guess, and overall it was just very wholesome, I would say, and I can't wait to see what happens next. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment, let me know what you think, and let's get to the episode. Oh, we had cut another nice place. Not Cole leaving his house at night. I guess this kind of confirms that daylight is not troubling her. Her daily life, playing video games and then at night go outside. And she's wearing the transmitter. <laughs> I will never play it again. Next day, let's play it again. She trashes Ko next time. Oh, she has different shoes on. Four hours later, basically. Three and a half. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of this. I don't like watching TV. Is there no other program? Yeah. Let's go outside. So there's nothing besides playing games in the evening and then going out outside nights. Oh, the moon looks awesome. Wait, what did she say? Ah, like a certain someone I know. Yeah, Ko, our boy. Yeah. <laughs> and two hours later. Is she counting the hours before Ko comes out? That would be nice. Oh, she wants to know as soon as possible. That's cute. She's carrying it. She's counting the hours before Ko comes out. She wants to know as soon as possible. If he's close. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Alright, dude, I never thought about it. <laughs> she already heard it. She's like, let's go. Oh, she has her hair open. Looks cute. Who are you? Come on, Ko. Don't be like that. Yes! <laughs> it's just you. Let's go! Yes! We can do it again. <laughs> Hot damn! I guess so, when you just sit there and do nothing, basically, you have like a lot of time to think about stuff. I guess that is really something to think about, right? Oh, 
精神的なストレスだと知る Yeah, because he's just so conflicted about everything, right? It's not the right thing to do, but he enjoys it so much. Oh, I love it. Because she is fucking cute, dude. Indeed. <laughs> I guess it's just because it's all new to him that, that he starts getting feelings for her. Nah, dude, let your emotions out. Oh, they're so close. Maybe I become a vampire now. まあ、末と言われたら吸うけども、要素割れることに2つのメリットがあると気づいた。お、2。1つは感情の確認。どう it's all completely new and overwhelming. I can really sympathize and like understand what he means. <laughs> Let's go, go all out. I wonder how it feels, right? Oh, she does. She gets it all out. <laughs> okay, so it is painful. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> A love hotel. <laughs> she is uh, having a good time. <laughs> because she loves this loot stuff and Ko isn't. Oh, she reads him like a book. Oh. Uh oh. <笑>よくてに見えたかいなずなちゃんのバカいじめすぎちゃったかいなんですよ本当は俺はなずなちゃんを好きになることだけどうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんう
エッチなお店を装って客を集めてたのエッチなお店じゃないっつーの失敬<笑>そういやちゃんと言ってなかったな私はもともとそういねやだよいらっしゃいませーあはははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははははどれがいい wow. 大丈夫大丈夫。コウくんからは取んないよ。オプションは取るけど。Only for the add-ons. じゃあ、マッサージコースで。Oh, here we go. Let's see. She good at it? どうすか、お客さん。気持ちいいっすか<笑>して、横島の気持ちでマッサージコースを選んだわけではない。<笑> But that changed immediately. アンジで、そんな気持ちはない。<laughs> I don't blame him, man. <laughs> oh my god! God damn it! Oh my god! 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 Yeah, obviously. <laughs> そして気持ちよくなって寝たところを吸うわけだ。わかっている。Pretty smart! Not gonna lie! よりっと深いのだろう。ナズナちゃんのこと。Me too! Like, give me more about her backstory. Maybe how she became a vampire? Was she always a vampire? お兄さん指の先の間、ここ。ここが老朽という壺です。し、酸素が体中に行き渡ることで。Which is good for her. More blood flow. Oh, interesting. Is this true? Stay. Can cut me. Cocoa. Coke much also at a good city name. Little girl here in the coke. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go, Akira. <laughs> oh no, who's this? Oh, previous customer. <laughs> I think she's from the intro, right? This must be awkward for him because he's not very sociable. The boss. <laughs> I guess she is he doing it? Oh boy. And she's playing games. <laughs> okay, let's see it. Oh, she's playing これから触るのだ。え、どうなんと閉店しろ。あれ。安心しきっている店。すればやってくれると思ったのに。なんだよ。もう絶対やんない。あの人には悪いけど帰ってもらおう。それはまずい。なんで私そういう値で整形立てて
she clearly wants people to enjoy the night time and she referred a few times to Ko, like in the sense of like he enjoys the night time and when she lost in a video game she's like yeah i beat Ko next time to feel better and she always watched her watch the, the transmitter she got from Ko to see how much like how much time still has to pass and until Ko comes out i guess so she's basically counting the hours until Ko comes out and it's like very interesting like that Ko is like very much a part of her life right now and that she thinks about him so much um which like ties more into like that they start to like build a relationship and start bonding more right which i really love to see and then she goes into like a bathhouse and is like here watch my watch and as soon as it goes off with beeps let me know because she wants to see ko as soon as possible and so when it started beeping she like stormed out immediately and went after ko um and then you have like Ko's side where he is like having all his different thoughts with like his daily life and his emotions towards Nazana. On one hand, he's like, what is the right thing to do? What is the wrong thing to do? Because going out at night and not going to school is a bad thing to do. And, but he's enjoying it so much, right? And on the other hand, he, the good thing, the right thing would be to go to school and not going out at night, but he's not really enjoying his lifetime. So uh, his daily life. So that's something that is troubling him. And then he has like all his emotions towards Nazana. On one hand, he is seeing her as a friend, but on the other hand, he wants to be in love with her to become a vampire. So that's also conflicting him. And then we saw Nazana changing her outfit this episode, having like open hair and having like only a sweater on and some different shoes, which is a bit of an outfit change. And he clearly saw that and got like feelings for her, right? <laughs> some bad feelings, I guess some loot stuff. And which again con conflicts him, having like all these different emotions about her. And then we find out that Nazana can basically read some of his thoughts and emotions when she sucks his blood, which was very interesting, I think. And she teases him with it, but also says, like, here, all these emotions you have, like fun, joy, sadness, and fear, feel them all for me, because clearly it enhances the taste of the blood. And so for her, it's good because it's even tastier and he has tasty blood. Um, but he's still, like, very conflicted about all of that, really. And I think that's, like, really... I, I, I can't sympathize with him, and I, I see where he's coming from with all his different things, because everyone in his life has, has like, tough thoughts and things he has to deal with, and it can be very conflicting at times. And when he was in the bathhouse, um, he was just there, alone, sitting there, and taking the bath, obviously, and he's like, dude, I'm thinking about stuff I didn't even want to think about, because... He was just sitting there and doing nothing, so no distraction or anything at, at all. And so he starts thinking about all these things. And again, it's very troubling for him. And then you have like some small snippets, I guess, in this episode that are very interesting. Like where Nazana is, for example, like, yeah, I'm a vampire and I can't see my reflection, so I can't see how I look. Which is very interesting because you always thought about it, like you always knew vampires can't see their reflections or there are no reflections, but you never thought, wait, they can't see each, they can't see themselves, so do they know how they look, right? They can't see their hands and stuff, but obviously not the face, which I think is very interesting when you think about it. <laughs> and I also, like, Ko was also, like, wondering, like, about, he wants to know more about Nazana, and it's, yeah, sure, I also want to know more about Nazana, like, what's her backstory? Was she always a vampire? Did she became a vampire? If she became a vampire, she was in love with someone already, right? And then he was also thinking, like, out of which person did she already suck the blood, right? Because there are so many people and she had to do it, obviously, because she's a vampire. And it's like things where it's, you can't, like, sympathize with it again in, like, real life where you have maybe some things you would like to know about a person, but it's not necessarily something you would like to ask someone because it could be awkward. Um... If you ask those personal things and so again something where you can be like yeah i understand that why he thinks that way and then another knock another dip the dip another knock comes out and just like hey i sucked this guy's blood <laughs> and cause just like oh really <laughs> um it's just <laughs> interesting to see how he's like overthinking stuff and she's just blurping it out so i guess she he could just ask her and then she would tell him anyway and then we also got a new character introduced, um, which is like from the intro, I guess, which we learned that Nazna doing massages for people to 
be able to get money on one side to make a living and on the other side um suck the people's blood because she can't just go around and suck people's blood randomly right so she does massages to, to calm them down and bring them to to doze off and then she can suck their blood which is very smart i would say and <laughs> she had like this cute nurse outfit which was kind of revealing uh like it was kind of short <laughs> and Ko was like i'm not thinking of anything lewd or anything anything bad when i chose this massage <laughs> um and it's again very inter very funny not interesting like funny um and yeah i i'm also wondering like when we will get new characters introduced because we have like the fifth episode now so we are almost halfway through and there are what four five more characters in the intro maybe or maybe six characters in the intro that we haven't seen um so that could be maybe almost one character per episode and i don't think that we will get a new character every episode and i'm wondering like are all these characters we saw in the intro are these people that had like massages for from or had like some service from nazna and they all pop up at her place or like the lady now the woman or will we get them introduced some other ways I, I it it would be a bit weird if like everyone comes for massages and that's how we get the character introduced so i guess we may encounter some people in different ways but i guess we have to wait but yeah amazing episode loved it love to see like the bonding and uh nazana having like different outfits outfits and everything and how, getting like more information how this whole vampire stuff works and that she can like see some of his thoughts and emotions and all that stuff and like co again being like very real right having like all his thoughts and troubles and emotions and things he has to think about that are troubling him i just love it this whole anime is amazing and yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you thought about, uh, thought about this episode <laughs> and yeah thanks for watching until next time bye bye